We are going to turn now to a subject that dominated uh, football conversations this season, concussions. Researchers say, though, e despite that, awareness is still a major issue. So our A.J. Bipor is asking the question, who better to help than a former Packer? When I play, um, a lot of coaches, administrators, and players looked at it as being soft. You know, because like you said, you really can't see it. So you really couldn't tell if a guy was faking or not. George Kuntz knows concussions. The former Packers linebacker is among those on a panel Monday at Marquette University. His story got the attention of those in the audience. This video would shock them. The point of it, says Michael McRae of the Medical College of Wisconsin, is to alert athletes, adults, and administrators to the short and long-term impact of concussions. At the same time that our aim is to advance the science, it's really about a culture change. McRae can talk all day about that culture. He's been studying sports-related brain injuries for nearly 20 years. It's been a sea change. Uh, in 1995, when we started this work, uh, we couldn't really find anybody that wanted to talk about this topic. Now, every morning when I wake up, there's a national media outlet that has a major story breaking related to sport uh, concussion. One of those stories is the confirmation that former NFL star Junior Seau, who committed suicide last year, had CTE, the brain disease common with Alzheimer's patients, and as we're now learning, former athletes. I am concerned, you know, because I played the same position that Junior Seau uh, played. We came out the same time. Uh, so I am concerned and worried about uh, where I'm going to be, you know, four or five years, ten years down the road. For now, Kuntz will work to encourage, but educate those chasing their own gridiron dreams. AJ Bayapur, Fox 6 News. And those panelists say they are also encouraged by a recent study out of UCLA where researchers found abnormal proteins that can lead to CTE, that brain disease, in living athletes. And that's key because usually they don't discover them until an autopsy when it's basically too late to do anything about it.